So we have understood how does single inheritance works as it is deriving one or more subclasses from one base class. And we have also seen how does overriding of con superclass constructors happens and how we can modify them by using super method. You can actually you can follow the same thing by working on some couple of examples. Now let's understand the second type of inheritance which is multiple. That means we can derive subclasses from multiple that is one or more parent classes into one child class that is the best example you can take it is child whether it is son or daughter taking properties from mother and father right. We are inheriting properties from our parents whether we look like them we laugh like them our nature our behavior everything is from our parents and the grandparents or whatever it is right. So the best example for multiple inheritance is that parents producing children and ch children inheriting the qualities of the parents. So the syntax looks like this when you create the base class this is your base class and your class of suit indicates that means you can have any number of statements within it class base 2 and class suit and you can have any number of uh, parent classes and with one derived class you can take all the methods of the parent classes. So that's where multiple inheritance that is deriving subclasses from multiple which can be one or more base more than one base classes into one derived class right. So let's work on an example which is nothing but I want to produce two base classes which is mother and father and I would like to declare a child class. Let's go for that. So I'll use the same shell which we have used because if I don't want to execute all of them, I just keep them with triple quotes so that it will be easy for me when I try to access the present result. So I'll just save it. Now I'll try to write a program to implement multiple inheritance that is with two, two base classes. You can write any number of base classes and you can just go ahead because in multiple inheritance you take multiple base classes and then derived class you pass all the methods so that's what multiple so i'll take class of father and i'm not writing any constructor or any method you can just try yourself what happens if you write constructor so that's where you learn more self you try on your own so i just define a method and i declare some direct value so i define a simple method which is height so define height of if I want to access the variables obviously I would like to define the reference which is self and I declare print. So print of height is so father height is around 6 feet so father height is 6 feet I just gave in that way and I just declare one more method which is I mean one more class which is mother class where I would like to pass. I'm not passing any uh, any arguments over there. I'm not passing anything and I'm not declaring class mother of father that becomes single inheritance. Now I'm just going for multiple inheritance where the where I just try to do is father and mother are two base classes and I would like to make child as a subclass derived from the two base classes because father class is having a method height which is displaying some result and for mother I'm displaying something like color or weight whatever it is it's up to you and I'm just passing the reference if you don't pass the reference the methods are also not taken into consideration so I just define print and color is or whatever you define it's up to you color is fair or whatever just make it very simple and now I declare the son method or class of child whether it can be daughter or son right so now here I pass two classes what are they father comma mother so obviously when you pass both of them so first what we'll do is we just declare pass because I don't want to write any methods into it let's see what could be the result so I will just define and execute it I'll initialize an object e is equal to child and when you go for directory of e what you could see you could see both color and height when you access the height method what whatever you defined in the parent class which is father class you get the result and in the mother class you could see the same result color is fair height is 6.2 feet because I just defined pass I'm not passing any methods into it but even you can pass method into it so here I just pass one more method which is define weight so define weight of self and you write to just give print child weight is 
25 kg uh, let's make it he's a kid so child weight is 2 kg now i just define an instance or create an instance for only child class so i just define f is equal to child that's it i just pass in this way and when i see directory you will also have one more thing extra what is that you have seen weight into it so you can access weight directly because it is belonging to child class only but clearly you can also access other two so child weight is 2 kgs and f dot height so when you go for f dot height whatever you have declared in father class you could access it and whatever you declare in mother class you could access weight so child weight sorry it's color right so f dot color you could see from the mother class because you are taking father and mother are the parent classes and child class is acquiring both the qualities that's where multiple inheritance works so deriving subclasses from multiple that is more than one one or more than one so base classes and you can have one derived class so that's where single inheritance differs from multiple inheritance because if i write class child of father i could take only height that's what if you see here if i remove this and if i execute this if i go for directory of what is that f now when you see height and weight you cannot see color because color is from the mother class it tells you attribute error child is not having attribute because you did not define father comma mother this is single inheritance that's where you can make you can work on yourself and you can understand how single inheritance differs with multiple inheritance